Okay, so in this particular video, we're going to look at the, the cor correlation plugin. And um, the, where, uh, the place that I put the correlation plugin is, is going to be at my stereo out. So it's my main output. And uh, the correlation meter is there in the plugin section. And it looks like this. Let's see where it is. So if you go to the metering, then uh, the correlation meter, of course, the stereo out is going to be stereo. And um, let's take a look at it. So this correlation meter is going to help us determine whether or not we have phase issues. Uh, we might be able to hear them, of course, but, uh, but this correlation meter uh, will be able to uh, identify exactly where the phase issues are. Like, are they in the drums? Are they in the guitar? Um, or is it the, the whole mix in general? And so as I listen to this mix, <clears throat> I'm going to want to, you know, watch where this marker goes. You're going to want it to be over in the blue, and that would indicate that you don't have phase issues. So let's listen to it. And you see that it's all the way to the right-hand side. And so anything in this red area could be, uh, could be problematic. And let's see, if I just wanted to hear the guitars. Don't hear anything. Are the drums? And you can take uh, the individual pieces and try and decide if you have any kind of phase issues at all. And everything seems to be okay. <clears throat> of course, I would expect that to be the case when, when we're so far to the right in the blue. So everything looks good. And so that's how you would use a correlation meter. I think it's a good idea, especially in our recordings, to check that correlation meter out. Um, have it in there. You don't have to look at it all the time. It's just every once in a while, if you feel like, wow, I have some phase issues, possibly I can hear some things, then, then you can verify that visually by looking at this meter. Very good meter to use.